let's show you how to create a more complex string of commands that you can assign to a function key or a combination of a key on your keyboard along with the function key. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this icon. This happens to be my key in browser and with a single click it's going to open up here. Now for those of you that don't have that tool here, you can always go to utilities and select key and it'll open up the same box. The reason why I bring this in here is because this is what you need to do to do a little research before you begin to assign a more complex string of commands for your function keys. So let's say for instance uh, my first task is I want to be able to open up view number five. So all I have to do is start typing in the command. So I type in the word VI and now you can see EW automatically comes in. That's my command view. So I can click it right here in the first column. And the second column is going to show me what valid commands for the command view are available. I want to be able to turn on a view. So I'm going to say on and notice that the next logical thing is looking for a number. I type in five or select five. And when I press the enter key, can you see that view number five automatically opens? Now, this is how you begin to learn. And what I've done uh, off camera is I opened up a notepad, just document, it's not even saved. And notice here that I have several commands here. I turn on my view. Fit view extended simply means make this postage stamp fill in uh, the entire window as best as it can. And then I have a command that says place a fence over all the files. All files simply means not just the active file, but any attached reference. And this, because when you do a place fence manually, here typing it in, it wants to know which window. So I basically tell MicroStation, go to the XY value, and a value, the point doesn't really matter. I put down 0, 0, 0, because we're not drawing anything. The key thing is the fourth number. This fourth number is a view. So I'm basically saying place a fence around everything that's inside view number five using 000, zero, zero as a reference point. And finally, I'm going to say I want to open up the dialog box. Now, that's the combination. Now, watch what I'm going to do. I'm basically going to delete the spaces here so everything is going to be strung together as one command. So you can see that Notepad is going to help you put all of this together. You simply do the research, and then when you get it correctly here, you simply select it. Like for instance, if I go ahead, click on this and press the up arrow, notice that I can select all this, right click and I can say copy, and now I can actually paste that inside my uh, notepad. Now that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select all this in notepad, right click, say copy, and now I'm gonna highlight all this and paste it right in here. So we can actually see that this is what the command is going to do. Now with that in mind, let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to go ahead and because I know it's going to work, I'm just going to assign it automatically to my function key. Now typically I will try it all strung together in the key and browser. So that way then I'll know that if something isn't working, I can adjust it. So let's say we want to adjust this or assign it to the my menu dot menu for function key number one. I'm going to highlight whatever is here, help. I'm going to right click and say paste. And here's my command. Now, let's go ahead and try it out. I'm going to say, OK, let's close this up, and let's close this up. Now, watch what's going to happen when we press the F1 key. With a single button, notice that view number 5 is open. It puts a fence over the entire object, or in this case, everything that belongs to the print that I want to print. So it's the reference for my border and my entire drawing. And guess what? The print dialog box opens, and it automatically has my fence command area active. And I can see the preview here. Now, what, what do you think of that? Let's do one more step here. I'm going to come back up here to my workspace, function keys, and let's assign function key number two. Watch what we're going to do here. I've already created the command, but basically this is going to unload the plot, con uh, the plot configuration, which is not what we want. It's actually going to be the dialog box. So I'm going to type in DL. And this is what we want to do is turn off view number five. So I'm going to say copy. We're going to paste this right here. So now we know that for F2, we want to be able to assign this function here to F2. So again, I can click anywhere, and you'll see that F2 is going to unload it. So let's try it out. Press the OK. I'm going to press F2. It closes up everything. Press F1, and it now makes it real. You'll see the dialog box come in here. And that's my tip for you on how to build a very complex string of commands.